Hi everybody, my name is Teresa Wasilowski and I'm a movement artist. I work with the PACE program in Lafayette, Louisiana. And today I have a special lesson for you. It's in honor of the Hilliard Museum's Play Day. And this lesson is for the whole family. So we're going to talk about culture and tradition. We'll take a look at some paintings by George Roderick. Those paintings are part of the Hilliard's permanent collection. We're going to explore a concept called weight sharing. So we're going to do some weight sharing movement activities and you'll need a partner at least for that. But again, the whole family can join and try it out. Um, and toward the end of our lesson today, we are going to take it outside and uh, create something called a tableau. Tableau in movement art is a picture, a big picture that you make with your body. Sometimes in dances, they, they can be at the beginning and the end of a dance. It's used a lot, but we're going to use those pictures to see if we can show something about our culture and the traditions that we hand down in our family. And we invite you to do the same. So what you will need for your lesson today like I said, the whole family can join in and we'll also need enough space to move. So just make sure that you guys have enough space that you can move uh, carefully. And again, at the end of the lesson, we'll be taking it outside. So if you'd like to do the same, you are certainly welcome. But first, let's learn about weight sharing. We are learning about weight sharing, which is so much fun. Now, in order to do weight sharing exercises, you need another person. So I have my son, Hello. Gabriel here. He's helping me out with weight sharing today uh, since we are doing family activities. Gabe's my son and, and uh, you, you can use members of your family to learn about weight sharing too. So let me tell you a little bit what it's about. When we do weight sharing, when we talk about weight, we're talking about the weight of our bodies and a lot of times the center of gravity. So we have our, our center and uh, we usually consider our center right a little bit below our belly button. So wherever that spot shifts to, the rest of our body is going to try to follow. But when you're weight sharing, weight sharing is actually an interdependent activity where you share your weight and you kind of create a new center in between two bodies. So it's a really fun way to move, but we do have to be very mindful and very careful. And we're noticing, we're leaning into each other, but we are we are noticing the uh, force of push and pull in between each other. So we're gonna do a couple of weight sharing activities to start off with. Let's do the one game where we stand, we're gonna stand facing each other, and we are going to hold on to each other's wrists. So as we're holding on wrists, you can probably put your feet like a little bit apart. Right, we can bend. We're gonna take our other hand and we're gonna come up and over and kind of just lean away from each other a little bit. So we're pulling just enough to where we have a balance point between us, right? We don't wanna to pull too much, right? Uh-huh. You're kind of pulling a little bit. You're kind of a heavy guy. We used to do this when Gabe was seven and it was a much different situation than there we go. Okay. We can all even try going all the way down and all the way up. So now if you're weight, if you're playing with little ones, you can do different kinds of weight at sharing activities with them, right? But even just like picking them up and spinning around would be weight sharing activity. Good. Okay, cool. And so we're going to save this one, another fun one to do. And you can do this with a wrist cross or you don't have to, but is it to create that pull away from each other. We're going to spin around. Be careful. Here we go. Yeah. Well, you don't have to be that careful. Come on. We can spin. Still one. Yeah. Also, we're sharing weight between each other. Okay. So we've got that one. Let's try another one where we share weight between our backs. So we're going to, all right, hold on kiddo. We're going to stand back to back to each other and uh, we can loosen this grip <laughs> right here. Gabe, come on man, don't hurt me. Um, so we're going, to, we're going to share weight by pushing our centers and our backs against each other. So we're really, we're really sharing our shoulders this way. We're going to see if you can go all the way down. Yeah, there we go. You are so good at this. I love it. All right, we're going back up again. You ready? Yep. All right, here we go. All right, cool. So we can try that a couple more times. Ready? Here we go. We'll just kind of go down. Uh-huh. And up. So we're really pushing against our backs, but we're also using 
the, let's try one more. <laughs> We're also using our feet. And I'm really thinking about my connection and pushing my feet down through the floor. Can we do the one where we walk sideways? All right. All right, we'll go like halfway down. So you can kind of experiment. Still pushing against each other. And then we're going to use that. Let's do a little crab walk. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess we're coming up now. All right. And then another one we were doing, we were playing with our weight training we could use with our hands. Yeah. So, oh, this is kind of fun too. If you're pushing with one and pulling with the other, sometimes you can kind of use that to help one person spin around. So Gabe's going to, he's got one arm extended, one arm bent. And he's going to switch that and use that to put spin me around. Go ahead. Woo! Okay. A little spin move. Um, the shoulder one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one more. So this one, you can stand real close to start off with, and we'll, we'll link arms to you just for a little extra added measure of security. So we're going to lean into each other while we're standing close, and then walk our feet away from each other. Yeah, there we go. Good. Good. Uh-huh. Cool. Oh, that's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> One, always. Um, okay. Okay, so we're going to try a little sequence of putting some of those weight sharing techniques together. So, it's important when you're using weight sharing that you always keep in mind where that point of connection is between each other. And we want to keep it going because if you, if we're leaning up against each other and one person just moves away, that's going to cause a problem for the other person. It's kind of the same idea as if, if you're on a seesaw and one person is up and the down person just gets off. We don't want that to happen. So we have to be very mindful and just notice where your connection, you can feel where the connection is. So we're gonna start off with our with our same first one. We'll do three of them, right? All right? So we're holding wrists, we're leaning against each other. Here we go. We're gonna go down to the ground. One, whoop, and two, and one more. Three, now we're gonna keep that pull between each other as we start to circle around. Let's do like two circles. Two circles, one. Right now we're gonna come forward we got a little connection between our head. We're gonna walk our feet, keep our connection between our head, into our shoulders, wrapping elbows. We're gonna come halfway down. We're gonna see if we can do our sideways walk. Okay, all right, there we go. So those are some fun weight sharing activities and exercises that you guys can try and you might even be able to create your own. Okay, I hope you had fun. Uh, trying out some weight sharing activities. Now let's switch gears for a minute and talk about culture and tradition. So what is culture and what is tradition and why is it important? So what culture is, it's a pattern or a behavior that is shared by a society or by a group of people. It's the things that we do, it's the way that we act, and it includes our language, the way that we speak to each other, the clothes that we wear, the tools that we use. It includes music, it includes art, our customs, the way thing that we do things, the things that we believe, and our religion. The word, word culture actually comes from a French word, which means to grow or to nurture. And our culture is really important because it shows the values and the hopes, the beliefs, and the goals of the group of people, of the culture, right? So our tradition is different because tradition means handing down the culture from one generation to the next. So we hand down our beliefs and our customs and the things that we do. And understanding our culture and passing down those traditions is important because it helps us develop a sense of belonging in our community and our families. And it helps us learn to relate to each other, to understand each other and to grow. So our culture and our traditions are important because they keep us connected to each other. They help us gain a sense of identity, a sense of our history, where we came from, and a sense of purpose. So they're super, super important. One artist that cared 
very much about preserving the culture and traditions of South Louisiana is George Roderick. So let's take a look at some of his paintings that are actually part of the Hilliard Museum's permanent collection. So George Roderick was a painter from New Iberia and he's most famous for his Blue Dog series, but um, we're going to look at four paintings today that I chose. Uh, because they really reminded me of the culture of South Louisiana. I'm not a visual artist, nor am I an expert, um, but let's take a look at these paintings. Uh, so the first one's called We Started the Band, and you can see two musicians. They're holding their instruments in front of their bodies and up high, and I kind of got a sense of... Uh, of pride about their music and their work, the way that they're holding their musician, uh, their instruments in front of themselves. Uh, and um, music is a really important part of culture because it expresses the culture. We can use it to express our culture. Um, we can write and sing about the how we feel and express things that are important to us and talk about those things that we believe in our hope. So it's a way to express our culture. And um, of course, we have such uh, uh, wonderful Cajun and Zydeco music and it's very unique to um, our area and to South Louisiana. So this painting reminded me of that uniqueness and that importance of um, of music and how it can express the things that people care about. So, um, so we'll take a look at the next one. And this one is called A Toast to Cajun Food. And who would not toast to Cajun food, right? Um, so I really love this one. Um, so it's outside, you really get a sense. All of these paintings actually are, paint, um, uh, are set outdoors and you get a sense of the the land and the landscape of South Louisiana and you see these beautiful oak trees I'm sure there are probably live oaks with the moss hanging down um, but this one just makes me want to be outside with those guys and uh, a toast to Cajun food so it's uh, referencing a uh, part of our culture actually our Cajun food and food is a really important part of culture because it connects the people who live in a place to the land that they live on right and the way that they grow the food the harvest the food they cook their food and the way that all of that brings people together not only through the pot process of making and delivering uh, food from the ground to our table but also like this painting shows sitting down and enjoying it so um so our uh, food can really connect people and places together and that's a really important part about culture and the next painting we're going to look at also has to do with food somebody's a food fan um and this one's called winning winning cakes and i love these ladies um again they kind of reminded me of of we started the band uh in a way because they're holding their cakes um and they're they're wearing their ribbons and their prizes you know so they're holding those in front of them and winning cakes um again gives a sense of of pride um so i i got a sense of tradition from this painting as well because i've thought of you know baking with your grandmother and your mother and learning those secret family recipes um and uh, i really thought of um the groups of people that can come together to do those things within our culture that are really important to us, like finding finding your group um, of people. So uh, yeah, I real I realized that all of these paintings uh, really gave me a sense of pride of what a group of people, what Cajun people do and how they live. And this last one gave me a sense of pride, and it's it's called High Water on Whiskey Bay. 
Um, and just looking at this and knowing where we live and how we've all experienced high water at some point or another, this gave me a sense of pride and belonging just taking a look at it because it brought memories not only of times uh, of, you know, that might be stressful like when, like during a flood, but you can see uh, these groups of people helping each other. And um, that's one thing that I, I really love about our community and in times of duress and stress, we're really open-hearted and, uh, and quick to help each other out in times of need. And I think that this painting just really reminded me of that. And that gives me a sense of pride and makes me feel proud to live in this community. And it also reminds me of that idea of interdependence that we were talking about earlier when uh, Gabriel, Gabriel and I were doing the weight sharing activities, right? So you kind of need to help each other out and what, you know, one person needs to be there for the other person and it doesn't you know weight sharing doesn't work out it's kind of like interdependence i depend on you to catch me and you depend on me to catch you as well so um we are going to take our lesson outside now and uh, gabriel and i are going to create something called a tableau and uh, a tableau is a picture of that is used sometimes in dance. It's also used um, in a couple different ways. It, you can, it can be used in visual art as well, but in dance, the way that we use it is to create a big picture. It's used in ballets a lot, actually, um, sometimes at the beginning and at the end of a ballet, and it can kind of set the scene or show a theme uh, or an idea. So it's like a pose with a body, right? So that would be in stillness. So Gabe and I are going to create a couple of tableaus that show some things that are important about our culture, some things that we feel that are important about our culture, and also uh, some traditions that we've passed down within our family. So we'll pose, as in the paintings, the, uh, the subjects are kind of posed or, or you know raising a glass, we'll pose our bodies to show uh, something about our culture and our tradition that we appreciate. And we're gonna make three pictures and we're going to change in between pictures by using weight sharing techniques and weight sharing ideas. So you can check this out and you can join us if you like, um, but we would love it also if you would create, maybe you could create some pictures outside in front of an oak tree or um, in your yard and play with some of these ideas to kind of explore the culture and traditions that you pass down in your family as well. Okay, so now we are taking play day outside to create with some of the weight sharing exercises that we have learned and we're also going to create a couple of pictures with our bodies to show things that are important to us um, in our uh, traditions and cultures within our family. So we have talked about and chosen three different things um, within our family that are, that are important and we have said that our first pose is going to be about dancing. That's something that has been passed down in my family. My grandmother is a dancer um, and my sister and I grew up dancing. So dancing has been an important part of our, my, our culture because uh, it's been a place where I can grow and um, where I can develop relationships with my peers and relate to my family. So our first uh, pose is going to be about dance. Our second pose is going to be about our favorite TV show, <laughs> our, The Office. We have a tradition of re-watching uh, The Office kind of over and over again on uh, a loop, but that's been a great way that we have spent time together because it's an amazing show and uh, we both really love it. And then the third pose is uh, also about performing arts and arts as uh, part of our culture is about theater. So 
Acting is a great way to meet a lot of really cool people. Most of my friends uh, do acting, and it's a great way to like hang out with them. So let's get to it and uh, take a look at these poses that we're using, these tableau, and we're going to incorporate weight sharing within our tableau too. So check it out. All right, so here is our first picture. So we have our arms are locked, we're gonna lean into each other. We're using weight sharing, we're <laughs> weight sharing with our head here. So we're gonna take a little ballet pose, aha. Okay, and our second one, so that's our first picture. So it has to do the arm and the leg extend, it has to do with ballet. Our second picture is going to be out that we created was like for watching the office. So we're down here. My pose has to do with uh, having the remote control and sitting on the couch and Gabe's making a, a, an office space. Okay, so this is our second pose that we've got here. Now our third one is our acting. So we're doing a little Shakespeare here. Let's see, we started this way and then we let go of this hand, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. So we've got those three poses, but now we're going to use some um, some techniques doing uh, weight sharing to transition in between each of our pictures that we're looking at. Okay, so what we're doing is we are transitioning between our tableau pictures to show what we appreciate in our culture and traditions, and in between each tableau picture we are using one of the kinds of weight sharing to get from one to another so let's go ahead and start off we'll put our feet here our weight sharing happens with our head together yep and we got our arms so we can squeeze this way oh okay so this is our ballet one uh-huh and now we're gonna do our back-to-back -back tricks so we're still pushing against each other <laughs> and we're see sitting down Great, and we're gonna come to our TV watching. <laughs> All right, and here we go. For the last transition, we're using our head again. Oh, oh. <laughs> to our final pose. Excellent. All right, Gabe, that was great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to try one more. Ready? All right guys, so my invitation to you is to get outside with your family. Maybe you can create some tableau to show things in your culture and tradition that you value, the things that you pass down from generation to generation. Maybe you can play with some of our fun weight sharing techniques or create your own. Have a great play day everybody. Bye. Bye.